So this is Panasonic's Homehawk window camera. It's installed inside, looking out through your window. Is this going to be a good option for your home? Let's find out. Hello guys, Life Hackster here. Today we are going to check out Panasonic's Homehawk window home monitoring camera to monitor the outside. I've made several videos on how to set up your indoor camera to look and monitor through your glass window and how to set it up so that there will be no infrared night vision glare. But because you're not really able to get the camera lens to press on the window, you will still see a bit of a glare, mostly on the edges of the camera's view. I will link all those videos in the description down below. Panasonic reached out to me and asked if I can check out their new Homehawk window camera, which is designed to be installed and attached to the glass window and for it to monitor the outside. Thank you Panasonic for sending me a unit to review. So we'll do the unboxing, check out its features, do the installation, and test the video quality, and run the usual tests and see if this Homehawk window camera can be a good option to monitor your home. So this is the Homehawk window home monitoring camera. Monitor your home from the inside out. It has color night vision, attaches to your window, it records in 1080p Full HD with HDR, and no monthly fees. It works with Alex A and Google Assistant, and has local recording using a microSD card which you have to provide. So this camera is designed for night view through the window with high sensitivity sensor. Bright view at night with color night vision, now, you need to have some type of ambient lighting because you will get a dark and unusable footage if there are no lights in the area that you are monitoring. Attaches easily to a window with a suction cup. You can have 24-7 recording on a microSD card. It has person detection with customizable notification settings. And anti-theft with indoor setup. Now, let's check out some detailed specs on their Amazon page. And by the way, I tried to look for this camera specific page on Panasonic's website, but it is currently not there. So these are the specs on their Amazon page, which I will link down below. This is wired and needs to be plugged in. It records in 1080p with a 150 degree field of view. It records at 30 frames per second in daytime and 15 FPS at night. It has a 2 second pre-recording when it detects motion. It uses pixel based detection and records every minute movement but it has person detection and also has motion zones so that you will not get bombarded with these false motion alerts. You do need to have a micro SD XC card to save recorded footage, but Panasonic didn't specify the maximum memory it is compatible with. Time to open up the box. We have their contact and social media information. We have the quick start guide and the information and troubleshooting guide. We have the 10 foot power cable, 5 volts and 1.8 amp adapter. It comes with a couple of wire clips. We have a back cover and some double-sided mounting tape for a more permanent install. And we have the camera itself and this is the part that we will stick to the window. We have the camera lens in the middle and the suction parts. On the back, we have the setup and the reset buttons. Then we have the suction lever to mount this camera to the window. We have the micro SD card slot. On the bottom is the power supply slot. Time to set this up. Download, sign up, and log into the Home Hawk app. To add a camera, choose Window Camera. Click Add New Camera. Remove the back cover and plug in the power supply. Wait while the camera is starting up. Select the LED color of the status light, which is yellow on mine. Confirm which Wi-Fi network you're going to connect the camera and click Done. Select Setup Method, which Bluetooth is recommended. Type in your Wi-Fi's password and click Next. Press the Setup button for 2 seconds until the status light starts blinking green. Create the camera's login password. Type in a name for the camera, which I'll name mine Home Hawk Window. Wait until the camera is successfully added. Now let's check out the live view. Yep, it works. There's some lag, but not bad. Time to put in the microSD card. Panasonic didn't state what is the max memory the camera can handle, but I have a 64GB microSD XC card. Time to install this on my front porch window. First, make sure the window is clean. Press the camera onto the window and push the suction lever to lock position. Plug in the power supply and attach the back cover. 
To make sure the camera doesn't fall, Panasonic recommends to remove and reattach the camera every three months. And if you want a more permanent install, you can use the double-sided mounting strips from the back cover and attach it to the slot brackets. Peel off the paper and place the camera on the window and press firmly for 30 seconds. You can temporarily remove the camera by unlocking the lever and pulling the release tab, and you will see that the slot brackets will remain in the window. You can then just slide the camera back in to reinstall it. So the HomeHawk window is finally installed and it came with this 10 foot uh, power cable and also came with this uh, wire clips. There's two of them. There's only two of them. I wish there's more. And time to plug it in. Time to check the settings in the app. Click on the camera to show live view. We have a camera icon to take a snapshot and this will be saved in your phone's album. We have the record button to record the live view and this will be saved on the micro SD card and will appear on your recording list. It will not be saved onto your phone. On the recording list will be all the footages that the camera records and you can filter it by person, motion, manual or protected. You can click on the arrows to expand the screen. On the bottom, you can change the view of your recordings to timeline or tiled view. Click on the camera gear icon on the upper right corner and it will get you to the camera settings. You can change the name of the camera, signal strength, video, which is video quality. You can set the resolution to full 1080p or lower it down to 720 or even VGA. We have frame rate, which you can change it to 15, 25, or max 30 FPS. Toggle HDR on or off. Then we have recording settings and you will see the status of your micro SD card and this is where you can also format the card. Then we have notification settings which the app will notify you when there is a recording error or mode change. We have detection which you can set the detection area which is uses a grid pattern where you can X off areas that you don't want the camera to monitor. You can even refine it by choosing the smaller grid icon. Then we have motion sensitivity where you can change it to high, normal, low, or very low. Now back to the main page, I'll show you the modes and this is where you can change the motion notifications. Click on protection and you will see that you can choose 24-7 recording, basic, or you can create a customized mode. You can also edit the existing mode by clicking edit. On protection mode, the camera will start recording when it detects motion. By the way, the camera has 2 seconds pre-recording. You can change the duration of the recording. And as to send notifications, I have to choose person only. Because if you set it to all motion, you'll be bombarded with false motion alerts. With person only, this camera is pretty spot on. Just a note on the recording list. All these footages are recorded onto your micro SD card. Click on it to play and you will see that the camera detected the person. And it records 2 seconds prior from me being detected. You can zoom in. And as long as there is movement, the camera will continue to record. Now, you'll not be able to share or download this footage to your phone at this time. You need to download it from the microSD card. Time to do some testing. So this is what my setup, we got my porch light on and then my motion activated solar light on and also my another front porch light on. And I got a notification of the home hawk. So this is what it looks like outside, close to the camera, lights on. And here to the door.
So we are going to test the motion alert notification speed of the Panasonic HomeHawk window camera. And I'm on my LTE connection and it's 570. Let's check it out. There you go, I got a notification. And when you push, click and hold the notification, you will get a thumbnail preview. And if you click on it, it will go to live view. There's a little bit delay, but there you go. It goes to live view. Okay, so it's 5.18, so it's been less than a minute, and we'll see what the cool-off period of the Panasonic HomeHawk window camera. By the way, this is set to a person detection uh, mode. There you go, I got that notification. And the same thing, when you click and hold, you'll get that preview. Show me home hawk window camera. Okay. Stream home hawk window in Google Hub. Sure, streaming HomeHawk window on Google Hub. So what do you think guys? Video quality is pretty good and because the camera lens is pretty close to the window, I didn't see any type of glare in my setup and I do have double paned windows. Notification is pretty decent and the person detection and notification has been pretty accurate. I like the GIF preview and I wish all cameras would have this feature. Because this camera is made to be installed indoors on your glass window looking out, there is no audio or two-way talk. And even if it has this feature, it is not really going to be functional because you would barely hear it outside even if it is pretty loud inside. I have one major gripe on this camera and I already told Panasonic. There is no option to download or share the recorded footage from the app on your phone. You have to pull out the micro SD card and plug it in your computer to download the footage. And when downloading the footage, because the camera does record every small movement, there will be a lot of recordings on a given day. And it will take you a while to find the footage you want to download. Taking a snapshot though will be saved to your phone. Panasonic is saying that they will implement this downloading feature by the end of the year. Any questions? Comment down below. Thanks for watching and I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. And click the bell notification so as to get notified when I upload product reviews like this video, product updates, comparison videos, and long-term reviews. Thank you.